Well, hi everybody. This is my little dog park we're gonna be working on today. It's starting to look kinda cute. And I've got quite a few areas actually done, or not done, but in the process of being done around the island. So we're just gonna work on those today and fill in little spots here and there and try and get this island um, complete, I guess. So we're gonna do a little bit of this campsite area. I ordered some lawn chairs and a different, couple different things here that we're gonna place around. And then I'll give you a tour of some of the other areas that are close to being finished anyway. So we're just gonna work on uh, kind of running around, placing the things that are in my pocket down. So welcome and thanks for being here today. I just made a bunch of garden rocks and a few pieces of furniture, doing some DIYs and not sure where they're going to go. So we're just going to kind of run around. Leaf was here yesterday, so I bought a bunch of flowers. And I do have a bunch of shrubs to place down as well. Because now this is kind of the part of the island where it's just fill-in time. I think I have most of the areas done. We're going to work on a couple little areas today. Making a barbecue area and the dog park. And... Then I think that's the last big areas to do besides just fill in. So uh, we'll just see what I stuck in my pocket here and we'll go from there. Can't remember what I have where in my pocket. So every time then you pick something back up, it places it in the first available slot. So it keeps getting <laughs> confusing where I'm trying to find my my wood shed. But I'm going to try and go through what's in my shed in my inventory and use these things up. I'm not going to go get any more decorations. I believe I have enough, I think, for now. I mean, I might DIY some more. But I'm going to try and use up what's in my inventory and uh, see if we can get a lot of these things to be useful. I don't know. Some of the stuff I think I want. And then when I get it here, I go, eh, I don't really have a place for it. So I'm just going to uh, fill in what we have if I can find <laughs> what I'm looking for here. There we go. Okay, I'm looking for the shed because I want to put some kind of little food or drink on there. I, I do have the recipes and things I can make now, but I haven't made any yet. I just picked up a few at Treasure Island, and I just want to use those up first. So, I'm not sure what I have left in my inventory for food or drink, but we will find something cute in here. are always super cute so let's place these down the fruit cupcakes they're really cute they're pretty they got uh, colors on them they look like a yummy snack <laughs> so. all right so I think this area up here is getting pretty full this is one of the little farm areas or this is the bigger of the two farm areas so it's maybe just a few spots I haven't done anything with this part up here I haven't touched that yet so I think I don't have anything in my pocket that would fit in this area, maybe a garden rock or something like that. But not probably not a garden rock. Okay, let's just run down here. I did these coins only because they're fun. <laughs> I like this sound. So whatever. Okay, I, I do have a little seating area up here. Oh, I have a Moroccan table in my woodshed. So let's find the shed and put that Moroccan table and uh, like some pancakes or a salad or something on there. That would be cute.
okay, that's nice. It's a fruit salad. So, okay, I want to put over here, I think I have a bench, a log bench in my pocket here. My goal today is just to get this pocket emptied out of all the stuff that I made. <laughs> I want to get my inventory as cleaned out as possible. And let's see, what do I want to put here? A picnic basket. I think I have a picnic basket left over. Let's see. Okay. And I don't have my islands like totally full, every square full. I like more, this island's not minimal, I guess, but I don't fill up every single spot. So I'm okay with a lot of these big green spots being open like this. And there it is. Okay, let's spin it around. Ah, oh, very cute. So yeah, not every, I, I do have some areas that are getting pretty full. I'll show you here in a minute, but I like some of the more open areas too. I am going to plant a bunch of flowers along this path today too. I think I want to see if I can get the wild log bench to fit in down here after a uh, garden rock. Yeah, I'm not sure if the bench will fit in down here, so let's let's try it. This doesn't seem to be working out <laughs> like, like I wanted it to. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to probably just skip this idea and do something else. There we go. Okay, anyway, I'm going to plant a bunch of flowers along that path and just continue finding homes for everything that's in my pocket, including the um, bushes and the flower packets. A lot of just picking up and putting down and nothing usually stays in the first place that I put it. <laughs> That's probably how everybody does it, right? I mean, who can put it down and just leave it? I don't know. So it's like, uh, you know, you don't know how something's going to look. So you just keep trying. But all right, let's just fill up this area with some shrubs and flowers. Those will look nice when they get grown in. So I'm going to start filling up some of these areas. Probably, yeah, I love the garden rocks. I mean, they're so cute. They just, I don't know. They're one of my favorite items. I say that about a lot of things. but <laughs> I really like the garden rocks. They can kind of fill an area in when you don't know what else to put there and you don't want a, you know, wheat field or something. So, and these little bunnies. Yeah, well, everything in the game is cute, so... All right, let's just scroll through here and uh, 
see what we can come up with. Okay, I always love it when everything gets grown in as well. It's hard to see when you're just planting down the seeds or the saplings, but once they get grown, then you can, eh, then you can get a better idea of how to decorate around them. But we'll uh, we'll have to see in a couple. I'm not going to time travel today. I'm just going to place down a bunch of stuff, and then the next video we'll have it all grown in. Oh, here's our newest villager. He is adorable. Mira wanted to leave and we ended up with Ozzy. I love him. He's so sweet. He's He has the same personality as Eric. So he is he's pretty adorable. Okay, I think we'll put down, I think I have a wood stool, log stool, and then a seed packet. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. All right, I have nothing right now that will go over here for now. Just pretty sure. We're going to double check. Yeah, that wouldn't really work. So, all right, let's run down over here. I do have most of all the pathing down now. So you can see it as we <laughs> run around it. All right, we've got some big areas here that we need to fill some things in. And yeah, the pathing really does add a lot. Oh, here's our little seating area. I love the mum cushions and let's see if we can go around here. Got a little couple little spa areas. Okay, I have nothing in my pockets that would uh, work up there. So I think I'll put a bench here. That wild log bench should go here. And where did it go? There we go. All right, so let's fill in just kind of this top. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> this little top area here. So this is another little seating area, a little spa area. This is kind of a little swamp area off of the beach. Not a swamp, I guess, if it's right by the ocean. Let's see what we get here. Ah, okay. Alrighty. So yeah, little seating area. Put one flower here. Not too much else. I want this to be kind of free of clutter and flowers and things but anyway I like the glow moss with the little ducks and all that so I'm gonna put a garden rock maybe here okay I know I have one here. okay that's fine green leaf pile anyway I like the little ducks here and the glow moss looks really cute by water because that's where you'd usually have mossy stuff right so Okay, what do we got? 
Just try to figure out what we're going to work on here. Okay, so I'll show you this big area that I've done over here. Well, we got the seating area, but I did kind of a, like a cherry blossom path area. So we'll start there. We'll go up the path of the cherry blossoms and the stone features. So you can go up the path here <laughs> to the little shell fountain. So it's kind of nice. And then we'll head over here. And this is kind of a little swampy area. Oh, if I get around here. Well, for, oh, first look at the stone path I made. I thought that was kind of just simple and nice. And then over here, well, I've got it locked. Obviously, you can see all the little stone statues and things. And this is a little swamp area that I just love with the frogs and the ducks. And I think this little area is really cute. <laughs> The glow moss, yeah, it just looks like kind of like a little swamp is invading off of the river. But anyway, okay, let's run over here and continue our quest of emptying out this pocket. Okay, this right here, by the way, if you place a flower down, it puts it into a little vase. Each flower has a different type of vase, but it's really cute. It's like if you don't know what else you want to put on something, just place a flower down. <laughs> a little seating area here, a little bistro table. <clears throat> Excuse me, not... No, 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 no. Okay, probably nothing for that area. But you know what? Let's make a little barbecue area right here. This is the last kind of big open area. I have no idea what to do here. So I think that's what we'll do. I think I will just uh, not talk during this and you can just watch how the silliness of placing things down and <laughs> moving them around happens and I mean some of you guys might be a little better at just putting things down when they stay but it takes me a few tries especially with the pathing and stuff.
Okay, I don't have the DIY for the log table. That's what I was hoping. So I do have the stone table. Uh, we'll just use the stone table uh, because I'm not going to go to any more treasure islands for this island or anything like that. So... things will be really cute but I need to make the area bigger so we're going to move things around and make it bigger. This definitely will be much better. I don't want it to be cramped because I have the space, so th this will be much better. Okay, always rearranging, but you know what, when we're done, <laughs> it looks much better, so, okay, well, I'm still working on it. Okay, 
Okay, this is a lot better. So this is cute now, just a little barbecue area for them to come sit in. So I think I'm gonna start trying to use the uh, bushes and the flowers because it looks like those are about the last things in my pocket. Then we'll head on over to um, the dog play area. So we have the dog park here and a little seating area in case you have some kids with you and you can have your coffee. And uh, I think this turned out good. So thanks you guys for being here today and I appreciate your time and we will catch you next time. Okay, bye.